Then, as soon as you can start recording. Yep. Good to go. All righty. Uh, welcome, everybody. Um, welcome to the Scott Scholar Information Session. Uh, my name is Kate. I'm a Scott Scholar. I am also a third year studying chemical and biological engineering. Um, I'm also an engineering student ambassador here at the Walter Scott Junior College of Engineering at Colorado State University. I uh, just want to formally welcome everybody. Thank you all for being here. This is definitely the biggest room I've been so well. Uh, I guess I'll give you all a bit of an overview of what to look like. Um, start here in the massive Zoom room. And Camille is going to give us a little bit of an overview of the different and we'll hear a little bit about the Scott Scholars We encourage you to keep your cameras on. That choice is definitely up to you. And these breakout rooms are meant to be informal and fluid. And what I mean by that is you can pop in and out of as many as you like. Um, you can always return to the main session and Camille will be there to help you assign it to a new room if you like. Um, and we will also have a list of all the rooms and all of our representatives here today so you can choose who to speak to. And we'll speak a little bit more about logistics later. Uh, but for now, I'll hand it over to Camille to chat about engineering majors at CSU. Cool. Thank you, Kate. Well, welcome, everyone. My name is Camille. I am a fifth year studying chemical and biological and biomedical engineering. It is a mouthful to say, but probably one of my favorite things to do. Um, well, before we get started about talking about the engineering majors, I'm going to go ahead and start a poll here. And Kate, would you mind starting that poll? Um, this poll is, first off, congratulations on getting admitted here to CSU. And secondly, we just kind of want to know what everyone is kind of interested in, what major you're looking at, um, majors you're looking at, whichever it is. So while everyone's answering that, I'm gonna go ahead and give an overview of the majors. So our first major that we have here at CSU is biomedical engineering. And I'm a little bit biased. This is my favorite major at CSU. Um, and the way that it works is it is a five-year dual degree program. And so what that means is after five years, you will graduate with two bachelors of science, one in biomedical engineering and another in a partnering major. So that can be chemical and biological engineering, which is what I'm in, and that deals more with pharmaceuticals. You can do mechanical engineering, which is more so on the prosthetic side, and then you can do electrical engineering, which is more on that CT scan, MRI imaging processes. So that's biomedical engineering. Next, we have chemical and biological engineering. So kind of fun fact, this is actually one degree. You're actually getting the depth of chemical engineering I good to, did I mute myself on accident? <laughs> you did mute yourself. Keep going. Cool. Um, and so, sorry, going back. So chemical and biological engineering, um, you're understanding that chemical engineering side. So oil and gas industry, while also pairing it with biological engineering. So you get to know pharmaceuticals a little bit, biomaterials. You also understand a little bit of um, like food industry, right? So we actually have someone who is working at Gallup with wine because they did chemical and biological engineering. Um, another one, the next one is gonna be civil and environmental engineering. So this is one department, two degrees. Um, civil engineering is kind of things that stay stable, um, things that don't move. Or if you think about it with water, it's how to, it's water quantity, right? So getting water to different places versus environmental engineering, which is water quality. So the water treatment. So that's kind of the difference between both of those. Our next one is gonna be electrical and computer engineering. Again, it's gonna be two, one department, two majors. So electrical engineering really having to do with understanding the hardware of the computer. So understanding motherboards, um, circuitry, all those fun stuff. And then you also have computer engineering, which is kind of the medium between electrical engineering and computer science, right? So um, really understanding how to kind of build a computer while also understanding um, all the apps and the software behind the computer. And lastly, mechanical engineering, which is by far our largest um, engineering degree here at CSU. And that's really everything that moves, right? So anything with um, a car part engine or anything to build a rocket ship, we actually did just start our aerospace concentration in mechanical engineering. So 
just a quick overview of all the majors. But if you're not really sure, it is a lot to choose. Um, we have one that's called engineering open option. So this isn't necessarily a major. It's more of a pathway to kind of help you decide um, what major you want to go into. So just that quick overview of our majors here. Um, but hey, Kate, did mechanical engineering reign supreme here with our um, poll? Let's see. Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Barely, though. I think CBE is the close or biomedical and chemical and biological is close behind here. Alrighty, well, next up, we will hear from Susan Benzel. Susan, would you like to come on and introduce yourself, please? Yes, thank you so much, Kate, and great introduction, Camille. Wonderful job. Um, so my name is Susan Benzel, and I'm the Scott Scholars Program Coordinator. I actually got my degree here at CSU um, back in 1988, electrical. I was thrilled to see all the students who voted for electrical or for computer engineering because it was just electrical when I was here. Um, they didn't have a computer at the time. But um, I got my degree here, worked out in industry for 30 years, and I am so thrilled to be back at CSU when I retired from high tech. I really wanted to come back to work at CSU or to help at least at CSU. I wasn't sure if it would be volunteering or as an actual job. And I just got very fortunate to get a job working with our wonderful Scott Scholars. So, um, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Scott Scholars program. All of you, as you know, um, I know that you're here to learn about the Scott Scholarship and about our engineering college in general, um, to be honest. Well, I know our focus is on the Scott Scholars program. Hopefully tonight you'll get a broader view too of just what our engineering college is all about as well and get to have any sort of questions you have for us answered, to be quite honest. Um, but I get to, um, I very fortunately get to work with all our Scott Scholars and Walter Scott, Junior, who our College of Engineering is named for, um, is actually turning 90 this year. And he received his civil engineering degree here back in 1953. And a few years back um, in late 2016, he made a very generous donation to the College of Engineering of $53 million. And with that money, he wanted a large portion of it to go to scholarships. Walter is passionate about education. Um, also passionate about leadership, excellence, and citizenship, which you'll see up in the corner of this slide. And so Walter actually started giving scholarships at CSU back in 1983, but it was that large donation that he made a few years ago that allowed us to start bringing in 20 Scott Scholars each fall and to be awarding them scholarships um, in a cohort model, if you will. We have the students kind of move through their engineering program together where they really get to network a lot, learn together, and get a lot of really cool opportunities. And so while getting the Scott Scholarship alone is an awesome thing, um, don't get me wrong, scholarships are wonderful, but there's also a whole program that we put around the whole Scott Scholars program. And so I want to tell you a little bit about um, that program. So if we'll go forward, just one here. Thank you, Camille. So Given this backdrop of the Scott Foundation that really wants to uh, invest in education and is passionate about leadership, excellence, and citizenship, as I got to CSU, we decided to put together a little more um, tangible set of goals, I guess, for the program. So um, first of all, we want to develop people who are strong leaders in line with that leadership goal. We also want to be able to develop students who pursue their passions. Uh, you will find a lot of different opportunities when you get into college, and I'm sure as you're all applying to colleges and trying to decide where you're going to go and what major you're going to pursue, um, you're finding there are so many options out there, and we really wanna help you figure out where your passion lies and to be able to pursue that. Um, there's one quote that I absolutely love from Howard Thurman that says, don't ask what the world needs from you, Oh, I'm going to get it mixed up. Sorry. And I tried to practice this beforehand too. Sorry. It says, don't ask what the world needs. Figure out what makes you come alive because what the world needs is more people who have come alive. And so I firmly believe in that. And I really believe that our program helps um, students really figure out where to direct their energy as far as the whole um, engineering program goes and to figure out all those really cool options available to them. We also want to um, develop people who are not only leaders, but um, people who make an impact on society. And I truly believe when you're pursuing your passion, you're going to 
do much better at making an impact on society. And then when you take all these three goals together, it was funny when I first came to CSU, I started thinking, you know, these are all good, but there's something else that's kind of missing here. And if you think about doing these three things, I think the other thing we're trying to do is develop leaders who are able to create an environment for others that allows them to be leaders, to pursue their passions, to make an impact in society. When I really think about it, these are all the things that Walter Scott did. These are all of the things he's enabling all of our Scott scholars and truly all of our students in the engineering college to do. And that's what we wanna do is create strong leaders who can go out and replicate this and really help other people be the best version of themselves and be strong leaders and contribute back to society as well. So we're trying to do all these things, very lofty goals, obviously. And as we look at this, um, we identified six programmatic areas to really help us do these things. So on this next slide, we're gonna take a look at those areas. And one of the first areas we're gonna focus on is research. Uh, very few freshmen and sophomores get a chance to work in a research lab. But as part of the Scott Scholars Program, our scholars get a chance to participate in research starting even their freshman year. This is huge because it will really help students start to understand how to apply what they're learning in their classes. Obviously, they'll get this chance too through, through the labs and the other things they do, but really doing hands-on research um, helps out quite a bit. And what you'll see as we go through these six focus areas that we have for our program is that they are all very interrelated. So in addition to research opportunities, we also want to help students be thoughtful and deliberate when they select their internships. The internships that students get um, during college are often very important. They often lead to job offers later on, but sometimes almost more importantly, they help students understand what they do and don't like as far as engineering disciplines. And learning what you do like, as I tell all the students, is just as important as learning what you don't like. And CSU is like many other universities. We have tons of different resources for resume writing, interviewing, and all of that. And this extra piece that we add as part of the Scott Scholars Program is really helping you think about your strategy in getting internships. And as it says, you're being thoughtful and deliberate. So it really can help guide your time at CSU as well as your decision-making as you um, decide what you're going to do after CSU, be it graduate school or going into industry. The next item we have here is giving back to the community. Um, as I mentioned, the Scott Foundation is passionate about citizenship um, and giving back and CSU as a whole is passionate about this area as well, um, as you will find as you dig more into um, researching about CSU. And so we definitely give students a chance to give back. This year, our freshman class of Scott Scholars um, was able to participate in Cans Around the Oval and kind of lead the effort, if you will, I guess, for our entire College of Engineering. And the College of Engineering had not been very involved in the past few years, but Cans Around the Oval collects food um, for the food bank, as well as for Rams Against Hunger to help feed students with food insecurity. And the College of Engineering came in third out of all organizations participating. So it was really cool. We really got involved there. And this is a huge need right now, especially with COVID. So it was really cool to see our Scott Scholars Group step up and do this. The next area you'll see here coming up is developing strong leadership skills. Uh, you will get a chance to develop leadership skills in so many areas when you come to CSU or, or wherever you end up going to college. And through our classes, so many of our classes are now focused on helping you develop things like teamwork skills, communication skills, things like that. And so in the Scott Scholars Program, what we focus on and what I focus on is really trying to develop additional leadership skills that are going to make you really stand out when you go to apply for things like grad school, internships, and jobs. And so there's things like um, three weeks from now, I'm holding a leadership style course. This will be the second time that I've held this course, and it really gets you to think about what style of leadership is effective in a given situation. It is an advanced topic, but I taught it once before for our freshman cohort. Um, they ate it up. They loved it. And it's a really cool thing to be able to learn while you are still in school that will really make you shine when you are in interviews, um, again, be it for industry or for grad school. So again, really trying to focus on some additional pieces even beyond what you'll get uh, in your classes. 
The next thing on our list here is connecting with industry leaders and faculty. And we do that through a few different ways. Um, as a freshman, you'll take a seminar class. And this last um, semester, I had one of the uh, C CEOs of the Hewlett Packard Labs come in to talk with students. Um, students also get a chance through the SURE program if they're in research. Like I said, many of these areas are interconnected to interface with uh, faculty. Also get a chance through a uh, career panel that I hold each spring to interface as well with industry leaders. So again, just this important point of being able to connect with industry leaders and faculty who really can help students, again, understand how to apply their skills better, help them see where an engineering degree can lead, help them be more successful during their time at CSU. And then the final area that we have here is really understanding career options. This gets a little bit back to pursuing your passion. Um, we do this through things like the research opportunities will definitely help you understand your career options. Uh, the career panel will help you understand options. Um, being thoughtful about internships and actually completing an internship or two while you're in college will help you do that. And then I also, during our freshman seminar class, go through and just talk about the many things you can do as an engineer. Because I know that there's even many of our seniors who are sitting here thinking, what am I going to do once I complete my degree? But I know that all of you as prospective students, I'm sure you're thinking, okay, so, so what does it really look like? What do I really do with this degree? Um, there are so many options if you're an engineer. And there's obviously the, the technical jobs you can go into or the design jobs, if you will. Um, but there are so many other areas you can pursue with an engineering degree, like getting into technical sales like getting into things like um, legal, IP legal type positions, um, IP intellectual property. Uh, I used to work with a lot of lawyers who had engineering degrees as well as law degrees and were able to do patent type work. Um, there are all kinds of jobs training, right? There are lots of jobs interfacing with people who are interested in the ethics of engineering as well. So I could go on, but I will stop. Um, but there are lots of opportunities out there as you pursue an engineering degree. And again, we try to add all of these elements of our program together in the Scott Scholars Program to, again, make this far more than just a scholarship, but also a program that will really support you, that will help nurture you, that will help you succeed, and provides this great network that you will have both in college as well as when you graduate. So... And I'm gonna be in one of the breakout rooms. I will stop now and turn it back over to our wonderful host, Kate Boyd. Um, but please do come and ask me any questions that you might have.